In 1948, in Baldwin Park, California, Harry and Esther Snyder opened the first ever drive through restaurant. They didn't have the funds to open up a place with a parking lot and bellhops or whatever you call them that skate around. So they opened this with just a speaker system and a window and a kitchen, making it easier for their customers to come in and out. Today, I'm eating everything from In-N-Out. Yes, even the secret stuff. I'm very excited. I love In-N-Out. In fact, the In-N-Out that I'm getting my food from today is the first ever In-N-Out I went to in California. Special memories there? Maybe, not really, because I've eaten at many others and they're all good. In fact, I've eaten at In-N-Out's in Arizona and those were good. Take that, Whataburger. Today, Eat the Menu is brought to you by Keith's Chicken and Keith's Burger Sauce. That's right, get yourself a bottle. You know, you've been watching this series for a long time. You're thinking, I always want, I really want to try that. Go ahead and click that buy button. Buckle up, because we got about 30 minutes of me eating burgers. And you know you're going to want some sauce delivered on the way. Let's eat the menu. Okay, so what we're starting with is most of the stuff that comes on the regular menu. Like some of these are, I think maybe one of them is a secret menu item, but mostly this is your basics, what's actually on the menu. And look at this. Can we just take a moment to look at that? And I think I know what each thing is, but I'm not totally sure, so we're just gonna try to figure it out. The French fries. I mean, if you love the way potatoes taste without any seasoning, without being cooked very long, oh, you're gonna love these fries. No crunch, quite mushy. I mean, just look at the color. Look at that. Not a good color. Underwhelming. We'll have some more fries later that hopefully will be a little better. The hamburger. All the burgers come with lettuce, tomato, some sauce, and you add onions if you want. The lettuce is beautiful. It's crisp, it's leaf lettuce. Everyone loves that. The flavor is so good. You know, I gotta say something. I'm just saying, you can compare In-N-Out to Shake Shack. I don't think you can compare In-N-Out to Whataburger. I should not start another war, but I just think it's so much better. It's so much clearly better. I'm just saying. Let's go with the cheeseburger. Looks uh, identical to the other burger, except, no, take a look at this. Also, look at the, <laughs> it's not so cute. Look at that. Look at fucking that. Look at that. Stop focusing on my face, focus on the burger. <laughs> It's in the burger. It's a whole fucking slice of onion. The cheeseburger. <laughs> I don't think I've gotten it with the raw onions. I always go grill. The raw onions have so much flavor and there's so much onion. Wow, that is so heckin' good. I wanna keep eating. I wanna eat the entirety of all these burgers. This looks like a hamburger animal style. I think that's what I got. Yeah? There's so many, they're all so similar. But it's got pickles. I think that's what makes it. Animal style. Now look at this mess of a burger. These big ass pickles. Big ass pickles. Hamburger animal style. Secret menu number one. Mmm. Wow. Every single burger has gotten better than the last burger. It's so good. The extra tomato. It's just so juicy. Extra vegetables, please. Yum yum. Can we just look at the size? of this pickle. Look at how thick that pickle is. That is a fine ass pickle. You really pick up the relish that's in the secret sauce, the spread as they call it. You can buy the spread apparently also in a packet. How fun is that? They're also huge and they don't cost very much money. That's a good part of the debate versus the Shake Shack. Shake Shacks are expensive and are actually a little bit smaller, if you can believe it. Back is here, but she's the only person here besides me and the cat. You're not a person, but kind of is. What the hell is this one even? This is the double double? So we have, what did we get? Where's my receipt? Where is it, huh? The double double. This is the most ordered thing, I assume. You know, it's kind of like you're a big dog coming in. You're like, oh, what do you want? A single cheeseburger? No. You want a double double. Every single one looks like a heckin' commercial. It's just got this, oh, the sex appeal. <sighs> they all smell exactly the same and they're all so good. They're so good. Whoa, we got a squirter. What are the good doubles are there in the world? Double mint gum, double your freshness, double your merriment, double your moment of fun. Eat a double burger. The Olsen twins. They've been on a roller coaster life, huh? Double bubble? You remember double bubble? I'd say this is probably one of the best doubles out there. The double burger. It looks a little dry to me, but there still is the juice and the bun. Look at the, look at the, look at the heckin' bun. I just, it's just the prettiest, it's, it's, it's so tall, it's so beautiful. <sighs> this is such a good day. It's good. It is not 
as good as the other burgers. It's just missing something. The cheese is missing, the pickles are missing, a little bit too much dry meat, not enough moisture to balance the meat. I'd still eat the f out of it. I can only imagine if you got to go to college in California and be drunk and be able to get in and out. Oh, the dream. The three by three. So this is taking the double double up a notch. This is called the triple triple. I typically think that once you get this far, it's always too much meat and cheese. But it's just a double-double, but your mouth gets fuller. It's a very American cheesy bite. You remember that song? The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. I'd say like, you could do that with this song, with these burgers, but you have to really emphasize the hurrah more and more with every two and three and then four by four, hurrah. Hurrah. The four by four. The Keats go eating four by four. Hurrah, 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 hurrah. It's massive, look at that. Beck and Hacken burger, Beck and Hacken burger. Where's the best place to dive in? This right here. Wow, that's a lot of meat. That's delicious. I thought it was gonna be too much meat and cheese, but gosh darn it, it's good. They use good ingredients. They're typically chill, they're cool. I know some people are like, but Keith, they're religious. But you know what, they weren't religious till the 80s. Apparently, the son took over and he was a born again Christian. <laughs> he was like, we should put religion in our food. Keep it out of here. The separation of fast food and church. Separation of food and fast food. Food, fat, church of fast food, church. The meat's already fogging my brain a little bit. I'm having a hard time talking. Oh my gosh, real quick, the Arnold Palmer. I guess, that's not the best Arnold Palmer I've had in my life. Now let's try this quadruply duple with some Keats Heber Burger Sauce. Fantastic, obviously I would say that. I can still taste the In-N-Out stuff, but I can also get this nice sort of savory, vinegary, smoky, peppery, mm, it's good. You should get yourself some, huh? What are you waiting for? But we're gonna get some other stuff here soon. Uh, I'm getting actually deliveries from the cast, cast, the cast of the Disney Channel is coming here. That's not true. I'm getting deliveries from Jonathan and Food Babies, and I think maybe Sam's coming by. Also, tell us what their favorite thing from In-N-Out is. What's your favorite thing from In-N-Out? Put it in the comments below. Okay, okay. Let's find out what Jonathan likes to eat the most from In-N-Out. All right, Keith, I went with the classic, the number one combo that's double-double with fries. The fries suck. I don't care what you put on them. I don't care if you make them animal style, if you put cheese on them, the fries suck. But, you know, I'm willing to overlook the faults of um, people I love. I forgot the hat, forgot to do the hat. Okay, hold on, sorry, sorry guys. I screwed it up, I'm so sorry. Doesn't get much more California than this, I think. To wash it down, a Diet Coke. I am part of the Diet Coke cabal. I know it's bad for you, but I mean, you know why you're here. You know why you're here. Woo, we did it. Time to go to Keith's. Now joining me on the Eat Dining Table stage, my wife and the only other person here, Becky Habersberger. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Happy to be here, even though I am the only option to be here. That's so. right. So Becky's gonna join me for some of the vegetarian items. She doesn't eat beef. So let's find out. Let's go oh, first. We got it first, Becky. <gasps> this is pop. This is a root beer <laughs> with lemonade. <gasps> I believe. I've never had. I've never had it either. Why would you do that? Why yeah. would you put lemonade in a root beer? Let's try it. I don't like that. It tastes like root beer and lemonade. Does it combine to create a new amazing flavor? The people who like this are the people who say that In and Out's fries are good. <sighs> Shots fired. Rough. That's what let's that is. Let's just get that out of the way. I don't even want to chase the food no. with that. And let's find out what God has for us today. <gasps> John 3.16. Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Let's have some fries. But let's start with the underdone fries. Now, as most people think that their fries are already underdone. underdone. They're horrifically underdone. Yeah. I assume this is a raw potato. Oh, they're so soft. The underdone fries. <laughs> Look at them. They're like noodles. These are more cooked than the fries that yeah. I ate of your fries. I think they're just saltier. <laughs> no, they're like firmer. No. This is they're firmer squishy. than when we just ate. They're mm -hmm. squishy. They're so squish. Mush. I'm they telling you. Mush. Look at this. This isn't mushy. That's done. 
I don't That's know. a crisp. I don't know about that. That's this... burned to a crisp Woo! right now. <laughs> so let's just see if you can tell the difference in the <laughs> audience. Oh, the camera actually shows it pretty well. This one's obviously well done. This is not well done. I think they could have been well or done. The well done fries. Uh huh. That was mm -hmm. one. It's like a salty little air pocket, like a chip. They actually taste a lot like those um, thin potatoes that you get sometimes we'll put on salads a long time ago. Like shoestring fries? I thought shoestring fries were just fries that were really thin. Yeah, yeah, shoestring potatoes. That's what, yeah, Becky got it. You can't, it's, not, it's only pointed at me. You can see me. Attitude is just me, because <laughs> there's only one camera. Wow. Uh, it's just me, I, But look at these cheese fries. They look good. Beautiful. It's a slice of American cheese, clearly. Mm -hmm. Cheese fries are beautiful. These look good. Becky and I love cheese fries. Love cheese fries. Oh, that was mm -hmm. so thick. It's closest just American cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of these have cheese. Mm -mm. Like when I go to Shake Shack and I get cheese mm -hmm. fries, those are cheese fries. Right, cheese cup. The Shake yeah. Shack cheese fries are the animal style fries. These are definitely fork fries. Fork fries for but sure. Look at all that flavor. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. great with the grilled onions too. It's just a little bit mm -hmm. of like chewiness, a little more texture. And smoke. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's good. Flavor's great. The texture of the potatoes is more excusable. Mm -hmm. It almost becomes a casserole at this point, and it's quite good. So they also do roadkill fries, but not all locations do them. Again, they're always trying to make you happy, right? So they did give us a burger patty to crumble. This baby food. It's baby food. It's adult baby food. Mm. Mm -hmm. As I go through this video, I'm realizing no matter what you order from In-N-Out, it tastes the same. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Taco Bell, but Taco mm -hmm. Bell achieves different flavors. This one does it. I think they're, they're facts too. They look awful. Awesome. Don't, don't these just look terrible? <laughs> oh, the fries are always cooked in fresh, 100% sunflower oil. Yeah, I think they do a really great job of creating a fast food experience that's made with better ingredients. Also, their employees are super happy. I mean, I don't know about like every single one of them, and it's because they get paid more. Right. And they get dental, vision, 401k, and paid vacation, full and part-time. And they've done that for like a really long time because they said it boosts productivity, and scientifically, they are correct. Good job, in and out Good job, in and out You know, that's the one part that's not in and out They keep their employees in. All right, on their secret menu, you can get some vegetarian items. And these are obviously not normal, right? They're they're basically using their ingredients to create a vegetarian experience. Mm -hmm. But let's see what we got. One of these called, so a wish burger and a cheese. So th this one is a cheese wiki. Cheese wiki. Which is just cheese and tomato. Uh-huh. That is the wish burger. And it looks like they gave us two wish burgers instead of a grilled cheese. One is a double wish burger. Double tomato. Maybe that's a wish burger, that's a veggie burger. This has oh, no, there's cheese. no cheese. Oh, I see. Okay, no so cheese. a cheese, cheese, a no cheese, and a just cheese and tomato. Yeah. Interesting. So we're going to start with a cheese wiki, which is just cheese, tomato, bun. A toasted bun. Toasted it's bun. It's a beautiful looking bun. In and Out has always wrapped their products in paper. That's also good. It's also on the wrapper, they tell you. I've never had one of their grilled cheeses because I only gave up meat last year and we just didn't have an opportunity to go to In and Out. So let's see how it is. I think the bun really shines. The tomato for me is actually taking away from how good too the much. cheese is. Two and slices. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Just a cheese with this bun is a damn fine cheese. Sandwich. Very good. This is the Wish Burger. Mm -hmm. Double. Or just a Wish Burger cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, yeah. Uh, maybe that's a veggie burger, that's the Wish Burger. I don't know. I want to go for. Look at that big honking leaf of lettuce. Beautiful. That's what I wanted is a big piece of lettuce. Uh oh. Mm -mm. It's so good. Mmm. It's like a really good sandwich. Mmm. -hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. And honestly, still to me, kind of tastes like there's meat in it. it. I assume because of whatever grilling they do. Probably on the grilled the... onions and the buns, but uh -huh. so there probably is. They probably can't call this vegan. Yeah. Sure, there is a little bit of meat happening, but yes. it's great. It's I don't really miss good. the burger at all. No. Very good. In and out. Damn, that's good. And now this is just a veggie burger. There's no cheese. But there is the sauce. But there's the sauce, so it's not vegan. So no, it's not vegan. <laughs> what I would think, you call I think this? the difference is no cheese. <laughs> there's no pickles. That's what no, I realized. There's, there's no, no pickles, pickles on, on this either. Nothing. That's a missed opportunity. That's there missed. should definitely be pickles. I love pickles. Love good pickles. The raw onion is the way to go, I think. So oniony. Mm -hmm. The cheese, I think, balances it out. It gives a little more fat. Mm. But Becky, what would your order be? I would get this thing. The cheeseburger with no mm. meat. I would add raw onions and pickles. Mm -hmm. And I might ask for double lettuce. I do think the lettuce is you really know, excellent. It's very crunchy. crunchy. 
It's good. Mm -hmm. Yum. All right. Well, thanks, Becky. Great to see you. Well, oh, well. you'll be over there for the rest I'll of the day. There. Thanks, Becky. Yeah. Make sure you follow Becky. Okay. Oh, Becky, you got anything going on? Any anything to plug? You can sit with us podcast. Oh yeah, check out. You can sit with us. Do you listen to it, Keith? What are we talking about? Well, <laughs> what are we talking about? Keith? You talk about all sorts of things. You talk about boys. You talk about celebrities. You talk about gossip. You talk about cults. I might join a cult. She would probably join a cult, but she fun. shouldn't, and we talk about that a lot. All right, let's move on to the off-menu secrets. Oh, hey there, it's Sam, and I'm about to go through the drive through today for Keith's Eat the Menu In-N-Out Burger. When I go to In-N-Out, I usually get, uh, what's that one called? It's got like the burger and the cheese and, oh, and like the lettuce and like all those goodies and uh, I don't I don't know. I've never I, I've been I know I've been to In-N-Out, uh, but I actually don't come here truly ever. So I don't actually know if it's honestly good. So I'm just gonna get a classic cheeseburger and see if that goes well. Mmm. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I definitely bit into the paper, which is cool. Just a little bit of extra flavor. I don't have anything to compare it to. It's a good burger. It was very moderately oh. priced. I keep biting into the paper. I need a warning with that, Jesus. It might be better with paper. And now we go to Kate's and we're up. For the in and out eat the menu challenge edition and the secrets of the menus. Here we go! Vroom vroom baby, let's drive! Woo! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna move on to more secret menu items and now I'm wearing a hat. I, I meant to put the hat on at the beginning. Actually, I really meant to buy one of the paper hats, but I forgot. And then Nick, our producer, had sent me with this hat, and then I forgot to wear it as well. And then I was gonna have Becky bring it in, and I forgot. And then I saw it, so I put it on. Didn't forget that time. So this is a Lemon Up. We're gonna actually start with that, because it's a, just a pink lemonade and 7-Up. Those should go great together. They're kind of the same. Yeah, that's great. It's sweet. It's kind of like a, a pink berry 7-Up. You know, sometimes it's like a place that's like, oh yeah, yeah, pink berry. I'm like, the fuck is pink berry? It's a whole yogurt chain, but I've had a flavor of pink berry before. And what is the pink berry? It's not a cherry, cherries are red. I guess sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're almost purple. And that's the first flavor combo that I've enjoyed. I've never seen this box before in my life. What could this be? Na, 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 na. So we've got a lot of different burgers here, some different donenesses, some cooked different ways. So let's start with this one. Let's just, let's just go for it. This one, what could it be? <laughs> but it is a hamburger. Oh, they're all hamburgers. Okay, well, the well done burger, it tastes dry. I don't know why you would get it well done. It's already almost always just medium well, which is close enough. They all look exactly the same. Let's find out. Maybe it's the mustard grilled burger. Will I be able to tell? What if I lick the patty? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the mustard bell. Maybe it's the extra salty burger. Maybe that's the well done burger. What is different? Let's look at both of these patties. Let's try just the burger patty by itself. This is the first one. It doesn't taste like anything different is happening on that patty. This is the next one. Saltier. But barely. I can't tell the difference between the salty one and the well-cooked one, which tells me that you shouldn't bother doing either option. This one, at least, I think I can tell. Yes, this is the extra toasted bun burger, and as we can see, it's quite extra toasted. Almost burned, but it's not burned. It's just toasted. Hi, I'm extra toasted. Mmm. It definitely has more of a charred taste, so if you like that, this is good. It's a little too charred taste to me, but also made the bread a little denser, a little harder to chew through. And I mostly taste the bun over the burger. Oh, what the is this one? They all look the same. What's different? Are you medium? I'm gonna try just the patty. I can't tell anything. Let's just say it's a mustard grilled one. <laughs> so my burgers. I guess that patty tastes slightly different. One of these is supposed to be medium rare. One of these is supposed to be mustard cooks. I can't tell a damn difference on any of them. I have one more to try, and maybe I will be able to tell what's different about it, and I will be able to tell you what that different about it thing is. Also, this has got pickles. Only one of them is supposed to be 
animal style, but I got two animal style ones, so who the f knows? Oh, guys, we did it. We found the mustard grilled burger. I pulled up the patty, it had mustard on it. You see it? Let me see the mustard. See the mustard? I can't rack focus on myself, but there's mustard grilled into the patty. Let's just try the mustard patty. Mm hmm. Tastes like mustard and hamburger. Let's see if it tastes any different in the context of the burger. Of all the variations, this is the only one I can taste, which tells me it's the only one worth doing. But I do like the pink 7-Up, lemon up laid. Gorilla! Gorilla style is a normal animal style burger, and then you add fries to it, just like a gorilla, I guess. Now this is one of the things they don't always do in the stores, but they always want you to be happy. They come up with a solution, they sent me with some fries. Yum yum! No, that doesn't improve it. No, it just makes you chew more. And then there's a bunch of potato. I don't think the gorillas know what they're doing. Why is it called gorilla style? Nothing about it seems gorilla-y to me. Maybe it should be spelled gorilla. Chili boy! You know, like gorilla warfare. I'm also noticing these, these burgers don't have a ketchup on them. They just got their sauce, which is like a ketchup mayo blend, but I thought it could be more. Maybe the hat has changed me. Maybe I'm more discerning now that I'm part of the club. Also, I'm gonna interrupt this video right now with a plug for myself. That's right, right now you can check out the Lou Burger Comedy Special. It is streaming on Amazon and iTunes and a lot of other places. There's a link down in the description. Check it out. It would mean a lot to me if you did. It's us singing funny songs, doing funny things, dancing around, serving people chili. It was shot in 2019, the before times. Check it out. What's next? Hey guys, um, so my favorite burger is a double double mustard grilled and they also add pickles um, and then i also make sure to add extra lettuce for that little bit of extra crunch and i always eat it with little peppers and then i always get animal style fries um, but my trick is to get light well um, and light well is like halfway between like normal fries and well done fries it's in this way like the fries are still crispy but they're not too crunchy crunchy cheers all right, I took the hat off. Okay, so now we're gonna have some different kinds of burgers. Last round was really about the burgers that had different things done to the patties. But this is just about different presentation of the burgers entirely. So many burgers. Hey, we got, oh, we're missing one of the burgers, but that's okay. We got this burger, this, oh, there it is. Oh, okay, let's go, we're gonna start with this one. Oh, it's different. The whole grilled onion burger. So they take the onion that would be raw and they grill it for you so that it's like, strings of onion. So let's see if that makes any difference whatsoever. That would taste saltier than normal. Yeah, there's a lot more grilled onion flavor. The tomato on this one's especially red. Look at how vibrant that tomato is. It's red, it's red. I wanna just taste the onion real quick. It's a great flavor. But again, I think it tastes exactly like all the burgers. Now, there's not such a noticeable difference that I think it's worth ordering it differently. Oh yeah, this one looks good. Okay, this I this is how I got burgers as a child. And this is just because it's how my parents made them. But doing a burger, but you get a cold slice of cheese. That cheese ain't melted. It's cold cheese in the hot burger. I love that. A nice contrast to hot and cold with my cheese. The cold cheese pops through. You can taste that cheese all by itself. It's got a little more of that gummy American cheese quality. Is that a good adjective? Probably not. I can tell the difference in doing this, so I think this is a, this is something worth doing. If you like the cold cheese, it will be cold. It will be different. You will like it. <clears throat> How's my voice? <sighs> I'm starting to get some real burger fatigue. Oh, Alexandria thought they didn't just bring something, but they have it here. I'm all texture. Finally a burger that is going to be totally different. And by totally, I mean marginally. And you can get chopped chilies on your burger for a spicy little kick. Little peppers, little peppers, little peppers. They smell like the peppers that you get with the Papa John's pizza. Woo! Mm-hmm. Hotter than I thought they'd be. A little bit hotter than the sport pepper on a Chicago dog, but around that same heat. It didn't add that much more flavor. I don't remember tasting the burger at all. I mostly tasted the same flavor I've had all day and then a little bit of spicy chili and that was it. No, that's a different kind of chili cheeseburger. You know, sometimes you get chili cheeseburger, it's chili. These were chilies. They're not the baby back ribs kind of chilies, but individual little peppers. Woo, that was hotter than I was expecting it to be. For the protein burger, for all you keto cats, you carb-phobics. Uh, 
Do you people who don't like bread? <laughs> this is just lettuce, tomato, onion, sauce, and a burger patty, and it's wrapped in the lettuce. I think this is probably delicious. Look at this. It tastes like eating a salad. <laughs> It's a sandwich. I don't like it. It's too much vegetable. I've learned from today that the bread is pretty f***ing phenomenal here. So I think not getting the bun is a huge mistake. But if you're gluten free, then I get it. You know, you're doing something out of responsibility and requirement, not out of your own selfish current trendy thing. <laughs> All right, this is the Scooby Snack, which is a burger patty for your dog. I don't have a dog, I have a cat. Let's see if Alfred wants a teensy tiny bit of this burger. The burger patty is a good burger patty. Like, it's got a lot of flavor. So I'm only gonna give him a tiny bit. What do you think? Well, I, I bet that Alfred's probably happy to recommend that one, huh, buddy? You want some more? Yeah, more, that's a... No, you can't have no more. He's a big cat. He's licking his lips. Yeah, he's like, that was good. The was that? That was good. Dad, more. Yeah, the Scooby Snack is good. Pet loved it. I thought it was good too. It's a good burger patty. It's tasty. He's coming back. He's like, what's uh, you can get some more of that over there? I'll take some more. Okay, so those are all of those burgers, but there is one off menu secret item burger that has to take the cake in grotesque visual appeal. The Flying Dutchman. What is that, Keith? Well, it's two burger patties and two slices of cheese, and that's it. And they've nicely put it onto this wax paper, which is completely transparent from the grease. See my face a little bit there. It's probably gonna be good. Oh my God, that is so heavy. It's salty as shit. Oh my God. Now I understand why they have the sweet pickle and their relish uh, in their sauce, why everything has such a great bowl flavor, why they use those fresh ingredients, because you need fresh stuff to counteract the amount of salt that's just here. This is so salty. Woo! My Lord, look at this thing. <laughs> You see what I'm seeing? This is crazy. We got one more shipment coming through. It's time for the last few secret items and some desserts. Okay, so they forgot my in and out hat, which is very disappointing, so I don't have those. But the favorites that I get are the double-double combo. So I get the double-double, which is two patty, grilled onions. I don't like the regular onions, I get grilled. And then I get animal-style fries. I love their animal fries. People say In-N-Out has bad fries. I don't care if you make them animal style, the fries suck. The animal style fries, I think the sauce goes with the fries very well. It makes it nice and soggy, which I know a lot of people don't like soggy fries, but I do, I don't mind them. So I get this combo with this Coke drink right here. Huh? Oh my God, I heard just farted. <laughs> This is on camera. No, that wasn't a fart. That was a fart. Don't. Oh my god, I can't believe you farted on camera. No, it was a door. <laughs> okay, alright, I'm signing off and sorry for the perfect fart. Okay, we are at the dessert portion. Finally, the day we've eaten all the different iterations of the burger, but we also decided to get ourselves a true grilled cheese. Uh, YB picked it up, so sweet. I was under the impression they did these inside out, but maybe they don't. Maybe that's just not how they do it anymore. Maybe they just do it like this because I know they changed how their griddles worked. That they grilled some buns on a griddle and they grilled the burgers on another one. I don't know, but it's just cheese sandwich. It's good, but I think it would be better if they just flipped it inside out. Also, it's salty too. Maybe the cheese is really salty. Cause like, it's so salty. Just want to note, you can get the sport peppers, the little chilies by themselves. I already ate them on a burger. I don't really want to eat them by themselves because they're gonna run my mouth. We can get them. Let's move our way through the milkshakes. This is vanilla. Looks like vanilla. It smells like ketchup. <laughs> I don't think, I think that maybe is my hand. Okay, this is the vanilla milkshake. Just looks like a milkshake. Tastes a lot like a McDonald's vanilla cone. Very thick for a milkshake. Pretty much just ice cream. I mean, it's, it's so solid. Look, it's not moving at all in the straw. It's pretty good. Not the best vanilla I've had in my life, but it's a, uh, Sweet, vanilla-y, calming, cute, as they say. So let's move on to, this is the chocolate. These look exactly the same. Okay, this is the chocolate shake. I'm gonna eat it with a fork. Is it the chocolate shake? It's a very mild chocolate. I mean, I mean, look at it. It's barely chocolate. It's all, it's white. It doesn't taste like chocolate. It doesn't taste like anything. I guess it, 
Like, eensy weensy bit of chocolate. Eensy weensy bit. A tiny bit. Not much. <laughs> this one definitely is the vanilla shake, right? We'll look at them in the same light. This one's wetter. One of these is a black and white, which means there would be chocolate somewhere. Maybe that first one is a black and white, and this is the vanilla? I don't fucking know. This looks like it's just vanilla. Yeah, that's vanilla. This is vanilla. <laughs> this is chocolate. Maybe I just didn't get the thing I needed, but I, uh, the, all of the vanillas and the chocolates all taste exactly the same. The strawberry shake is quite obviously not vanilla. Oh, it's weird. Oh, it's too, it's too strawberry. It looks like they add in strawberry flavoring to the vanilla, which makes you think they add in the chocolate flavoring to the vanilla, which would explain why it just tastes like vanilla. That makes it seem like they added in a flavoring and then mix it up like in this cup, like some guy went, oh, okay, he wants strawberry. Okay, okay, let me get a strawberry one. It's not a good strawberry milkshake. I think everything on the table is vanilla. Okay, this is the Neapolitan. This is the chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. I, I am eating all the shakes with a knife. No real reason for that. Again, I'm looking for the chocolate. There's nothing about this, this chocolate. This is bad. It just tastes like this, the fake strawberry syrup they're putting on. No. Uh, no. Across the board, I don't like these shakes. I don't think they're very good. I think the vanilla is fine. But they have a root beer float as well. And I, as a child, loved a good old fashioned RBF. But I will say that root beer floats are the ugliest looking drink. Like the fizz that has fallen is just, uh, 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 uh. You know what I'm saying. If you've had one before, you know what I'm saying. That's what that should taste like. But you don't go to In-N-Out for the desserts, at least I hope you don't, because you really go to In-N-Out to have eight different versions of the same thing. And with that, it's now time to decide the best and the least best. Gosh, all the burgers were excellent. I'm gonna tell you the best way to order a burger and the least best way to order your burger, based off of all the iterations of burgers that I had today. But I'm gonna suggest a double-double animal style. If you like spice, I think add some of those peppers to it. I think the cold cheese is fun, so maybe have a double-double have cold cheese. How wild would that be? I don't know, I, you know, it's hard for me to choose the best burger because they're all so similar. I would advise against the protein burger. I would advise against the Flying Dutchman. The least best, I was gonna give it to the fry, but after having those milkshakes, I have to say, I can't recommend those milkshakes at all. Probably the best thing there are the vegetables. And that's it. In and out, the whole menu is so similar, but it is delicious. I just think it's a worthwhile company to support, especially when you're in California. In fact, let's just get rid of this whole Whataburger versus In-N-Out versus Shake Shack versus McDonald's. They're all great, you know? <laughs> They're all, they all have something worth going to and enjoying. But I had a great time. I ate lots of good stuff. We had lots of great guests. Becky came by at Back Smacks too. My cat came by at Big Friendly Cat. And of course me. And follow me on TikTok. I ate big spoons full of food. <laughs> It's fun. Thanks to all of the Tri Staff for getting me the different portions of this menu so we can do this today very efficiently. And yeah, thanks to me. This is Eat the Menu. We'll see you next time. Make sure you get yourself some Keats Happers burger sauce and some Keats chicken sauce right now. Do it right now. What are you waiting for? Make your taste buds happy. Up the flavor of your meals at home and up the quality of love in your heart. <laughs> this is Eat the Menu. I'll see you next time.